Welcome to the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Fort Bend County Commissioner Grady Prestige. Fort Bend County has grown tremendously over the last 24 years. When I entered office in 1991, the county had 254,000 people. Estimates today have us at about 700,000. We have grown tremendously. Attitudes for suburban counties like Fort Bend County were pretty consistent all over the state. They didn't really care much about public transportation or some of the urban things that uh, urban counties have to deal with. Well, we don't have that luxury anymore. We're a big city right now. Can you imagine a city of 700,000, way more than the population of my hometown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and not having a bus service, not having any kind of public transportation? It would impede commerce. It would stop people from being able to get to educational facilities, to work, uh, to play and it just reduces the quality of life. Fort Bend County is going to face a dilemma pretty soon in how we're going to deal with public transportation. Back in 2005, the county created its public transportation department. And with federal funds, we've been able to build a fleet of 38 buses, 96 employees, and last year provided an astounding 366,000 trips, of which 127,000 were uh, commuter trips, and uh, demand response trips. Uh, we've got a great public transportation system, but we are being threatened by a loss of federal funds. Language in the last transportation bill requires us to use the money we get from the feds, which makes up a lion's share of the $6.2 million budget. We have to use that money on capital projects only and not for operations. We've been able to uh, juggle money around here and there to make it happen for the last couple of years, but unless the law changes, there's going to be a day of reckoning where Fort Bend County residents are going to have to decide, do we want public transportation or do we don't want public transportation? If so, are we willing to pay the price to support these operations? I feel they've been vital to the growth and development of this county, and uh, you'll, be a chance, you'll be given a chance to make decisions pretty soon as we get closer and closer to the day of reckoning on our federal funds. I hope you choose wisely. That's it for this edition. See you next time.